Hello world, it's Dave again, and uh, just like the title suggests, this is me just talking about my uh, trip to Tokyo Disneyland that I did recently. But before you run away from the video and you're like, oh, I was expecting to see an actual live video of it, I do have pictures that I took, about 50 of them, and they're going to be down in the link. So if you don't even want to watch the video, you just want to see the pictures, I've made a Dropbox link for it. You can just click that, and then you can see the path that I proceeded through on for the whole trip which is pretty good i thought i got some some pretty cool some pretty cool shots during the course of it so um i'll still talk about the trip though i'll talk about going there um before i went i went on the 23rd on the sunday and i told my i told my japanese teacher about it and she was like "Ooh, rough day <laughs> i was like why uh because i just entered into spring break and this is one of the first weekends of the spring break and so it was going to be like as busy as you could imagine and busy in Tokyo is one of the busiest busies you've ever seen in your life and she wasn't wrong we got in there and I was like wow this is like a ton of people but in a way that just made me appreciate different things about it you know it was kind of cool to see the the spectacle to see so many people coming from a uh, small town Mill Bay, Vancouver Island. I don't really see that many people that often. So that was really, really cool for me. I went with about, uh, how many? I went with four other teachers from my school, which is really cool. They had invited me to go and I thought, you know, say yes more than no. And so I went with them and they asked me to begin with, they said, what do you want to go on? And I said, well, let's go on the, uh, let's go on the roller coaster because that's kind of my thing. I like those kinds of rides. So they suggested, going on the uh, what's it called space mountain and it's it's kind of crazy because i thought that i've gone to when i was like 10 years old i went to disneyland in california when i was really young and it's trippy because it's somewhat different when you go here but it's all the same like disneyland whether i mean i'm sure there are some places that have a little bit of a variation but Disneyland in California and Disneyland here, maybe they have subtle differences, but the general layout is the same, which I was like, oh, I didn't expect that. I thought maybe there was some more variation, but that's not the case. Um, because it was so busy, we went up to the line and they got the sign up there saying how long it is that you're going to take. And it said two and a half hours. So I was just like, oh my God, this is a ride that you, you're on probably for like three minutes <laughs> and you're going to wait two and a half hours. But this is a perfect, perfect example, perfect uh, case in point where it's not what you're doing, it's uh, how you're doing it. So uh, when we got into the line, I really looked at this as an opportunity, obviously, to get to know the teachers at my school a little better because for a couple of them, actually I think all of them, this is the first time that I was hanging out. So I really made a point to practice my Japanese and the more that I practice my Japanese with them, the more interested they were to practice their English. And, you know, it's just, I, I've always encouraged this in other videos, but really, if you can go on these trips, if you can do this kind of thing, it's, uh, <clears throat> excuse me, it's an incredible thing to enhance your work environment. Because of course, naturally, when you go out and you hang out with people like this, when you're back in your work environment, again, you got all those like inside jokes from the experience went on just as though you were back home. It's just especially important when you're trying to establish yourself in a new foreign place to do things like this uh, to better those relationships. So that was really good. And yeah, we uh, we waited, you know, the two and a half hours it flew by because we were talking, having a good time, laughing with each other. And then we went, um, we went over to like the western part of Disneyland, which was it was cool, man. They had these like turkey legs. And again, the lineup was just too long that I couldn't, I couldn't wait, you know, I wasn't going to wait a half an hour in the turkey leg line and then go over to the next line that we had to wait in, which was another two and a half hours. So I missed the turkey legs, but I have this feeling that that would have been one of the best parts of the whole experience at Disneyland if you could have gotten a delicious turkey leg. Um, I saw tons of people eating them. It was killing me. But we waited in line then for the next roller coaster and another two and a half hours flew by just talking again having a good time getting to know each other more and more um could have been damn awkward you know if they weren't the cool people that they were but they were really chill um so that was really good we got through we went on the ride and then we spent a little time afterwards looking for maybe a ride that would have less people on it 
and we found one which was cool. We went to the Pirates of the Caribbean, which is cool. It really is like you're riding through a movie set or something like that. You know, there's so much attention to detail and everything in each scene that you move through in Pirates of the Caribbean. It was really cool. And there was no lineup for that. So we just like hopped onto it, you know, where five hours was spent spent um, getting to go on the uh, the earlier rides. You know, it was like two seconds. We just walked on and that was really cool. And cool seeing since I went when I was 10 and I've gone now since the franchise for Pirates of the Caribbean is so developed um, that there were all these subtle little changes. You know, you got Johnny Depp, Captain Black Sparrow, whatever his name is. Um, he's showing up in different places like that. There's lots of dialogue that's changed uh, between when you see the robots talking and stuff like that. Uh, so that was really cool. I enjoyed that. Then we went for dinner. Um, one thing that's really cool, parts of the Caribbean, is you start the ride, and then next to that is like this restaurant that you could go to. And I was like, oh, that'd be kind of cool to go to. Um, we finished up the Pirates of the Caribbean. The sun's going down at this point, and of course you have the um, parade that goes on every night, and the parade is really, really cool, and that's a big change I can see where I remember it being really cool when I was young, but now the lights have just gotten crazy on these floats. You know, they like change colors so rapidly. They're way more complex, and that was really cool to watch. I have a couple pictures of like uh, Alice in Wonderland and Snow White and stuff from uh, snapping a few shots of that and then a final sad thing was uh the for whatever the weather conditions were the wind was i guess just too strong and i couldn't or they couldn't have the the fireworks so i missed the fireworks that would have been really cool i mean i i love a fireworks show it's just uh just the way it is that's just always a cool spectacle to check out so they didn't have that um, but then we finished up the day, we, uh, we headed back, and all was all's well that ends well. We had a good chat in the car. I was having a lot of fun with, um, you know, on your smartphones you can get this translator program. I use, like, Google Translate. And how you know, if you've ever tried to use this before, that it's really good if you want to use one word. If you want to look up a particular single, single word, then that translating program is probably pretty good. But if you extend that word to anything that resembles a sentence, it just fails miserably because the, uh, the Google Translate does not have a good understanding at all of the, the grammar uh, that the language is spoken with. And so I was just making them crack up, putting in all these like ridiculous sentences. They were incredibly wrong and grammatically incorrect. And then, of course, you have the computer's pronunciation of their language. So they were having a lot of fun with that. Yeah, so it was good. It was good. It was another, you know, like, uh, check that off. I didn't just sit in my room the whole time that I was uh, teaching in Japan. So I'm pretty stoked on that. Got my contract renewed, so I'm going to be here for another year. Very, very happy about that. And at my same schools, which I think is fantastic because then, you know, you can enhance those relationships that were already starting to get better and better from trips like this. So things are going well. I'm excited for the next school year, and I've realized I thought I was going back right beginning of April, but you even get like another week or two off in April before uh, you start. The teachers of the school might start before you, but when I start is uh, mid-April or at least another week off. So, awesome. Good times. Spring is upon us. How quickly it changes, you know. I I've noticed that at winter, you know, it's like, oh, it's kind of winter, it's kind of winter, and then bam. All of a sudden it's super cold and you're like, oh yeah, now it's suddenly winter. It was just like that here for spring where a few days I was like, is it spring yet? And then I think actually the day of spring, the 20th, it just totally switched. It was suddenly way warmer, way different. I could even on that day see, you know, how all these buds were coming out. So I would argue that spring is the most beautiful time to be in Japan just because of all their cherry blossoms and a hundred different places that you can go to uh, see them. I'm going to be going to Shibuya soon, so I think I'll probably snap a bunch of pictures there. And Shibuya is pretty uh, famous for its crosswalk, actually, of all things. It's been just as a, as a representation of how busy and crazy Japan is in Tokyo. That district has kind of become a poster child for it. So I'm going to go there pretty soon. Pretty stoked about that. And I'll have another one of these like travel videos up just to talk about it. And like I say, put a link in the description for all the pictures that I've taken. So that's that. That's this video. I hope you enjoy it. Enjoy it. Enjoy it. Um, and yeah, if you do enjoy, please like, subscribe, share, comment, all that stuff. Helps me out a lot. Helps me uh, get my channel known. Um, yeah. And like I like to say, until we meet again next time, world, thanks for tripping with Dave. Chop now.